Hey, hey, everyone. Let's answer the question that we can see on the screen. What is the blood flow through the left side of the heart? So we have vessels arriving at the left atrium, and those are pulmonary veins. We have two on the left, and we have two on the right. And I'll show you what those are here in just a second. We have other structures, and there are the abbreviations. Left atrium is the LA. Left ventricle is the LV. Then we have bicuspid valve, BV. This is also known as the mitral valve. Aortic semilunar valve, ASV, and aortic arch, AA. So blood flows through these pulmonary veins, indicated by the yellow arrows. We have two on the left and two on the right. And they give their blood into the left atrium. At this point, the blood is highly oxygenated because it's just now coming back from the lungs. We have the pulmonary trunk uh, bifurcate into right and left pulmonary arteries, take it to the lungs to receive oxygen, and ultimately coming back through these pulmonary veins. Blood then flows from the left atrium through the bicuspid valve, also known as mitral valve, into the left ventricle. Then the left ventricle contracts, pushes the blood through the aortic semilunar valve into the aortic arch there. And then ultimately we have the branches coming off of the aortic arch, taking blood to the, to the limbs, uh, the head and neck. Ultimately that uh, flows back behind the heart becomes abdominal aorta, thoracic aorta first, then abdominal aorta, giving branches to uh, the whole body so that they can uh, receive highly oxygenated blood. So that's the left blood flow through the left side of the heart. Uh, got a question for me? You'd like me to answer? Hit me up on my website if you'd like, anatomyonthego.com or on Facebook, same name, Anatomy on the Go. And don't forget to subscribe so you can know about new videos that come out. And have a good day. See ya.